I am a congressional staffer. Um, so that's like a congressional Capitol Hill staffer. So I work on Capitol Hill, which is located in Washington, D.C. So one of the oldest and beautiful institutions there has ever been, in my opinion. Um, so I'm right now currently an uh, executive assistant slash scheduler to uh, Congresswoman out of um, Brooklyn, New York. So um, just a quick shout out to our team in the congressional district of Brooklyn, um, Ninth District. So, um, and I think my career path kind of started with me interning. This taking on internships while I was at USC Aiken. Um, my first internship was with Congressman James E. Clyburn in Columbia, South Carolina, in his district office. Um, from there, it was just kind of like. I just was really close to the office and they gave me the opportunity to go and intern at the Library of Congress one summer I was before I graduated from college. And I just knew when I came to DC, I loved it. I loved the people, you know, a lot of the people that was thinking like me and it was like love issues, the same issues that I love. And I knew that after I graduated, I wanted to come back to DC and have a career there. Now, my journey is a little different because when I graduated, I took a post-grad internship. Instead of having a job, I had two choices. Either it was to be a canvasser making 35K or 34K a year in Chicago, which is not what's going to happen because Chicago is very expensive, or <laughs> go to um, D.C. and take an internship on Capitol Hill through the Congressional Met Caucus Foundation, which allows um, Black students post-grad or in college um, currently to have opportunities to go and, um, you know, um, have an internship on Capitol Hill. And also they pay, they give you a stipend and they give you housing. One of the best opportunities I then had, uh, I currently still stay with my roommate in D.C. that I stayed with three years ago. Um, and so I have some of the best relationships and it was the start of my career. And I am so happy that even though I did an internship and didn't have a job right out of college, it set me up for success because a lot of people don't know that Capitol Hill, like interns matter. And when you intern on Capitol Hill, you basically like a staffer, like a, like an entry level in. And so you're what you will learn how to navigate and connect through, you know, how do you get a job? Who are the people that you can meet and network? You know, for me, it was I learned quickly. It was all about who, you know, who can vouch for your name, who can flag your resume and um, basically like who can really say, like, get this girl this job because I know her type of deal. And you will learn. I learned the hard way, but after a while, I learned picked up really easily how to navigate Capitol Hill and also Washington, D.C. And I think it, I learned a lot from my professors, um, Dr. Young in particular. Um, and I think that having from Dr. Thornburg, from Dr. Young, from Dr. Wood, Dr. Millies, they all bought something different. And it all was different in their own way, but the, you learn a lot from all of them. Because if you look at their careers and see, you know, where they came and like, oh, wow, like they they really do care about like the the political like arena and their their jobs. And I think I learned a lot from Dr. Durenberg when it came to like the local government. I learned um, a lot about from Dr. Young when it came to like um, like the political administration part, which is, I'm, I'm in getting my master's right now. So I rely heavy on that. Dr. Millie's was like all federal government. And then Dr. Wood was all international government. And I still talk about Dr. Wood today because it's like, wow, like if I really paid more attention in class about international affairs, I could have like a great job, like doing international stuff because Dr. Wood did a lot with international stuff that I didn't realize. And being from like a small school in South Carolina and coming to DC, you learn a lot about different where people, everybody come from a different place. And I think that's what really helped me, um, you know, through the program is having the professors that all had different backgrounds. And you can, you look back at it, like, okay, we did talk about this in class. And, you know, it's crazy because this stuff actually happened in real time. And I think that if you have a political science department that cares about their students, that cares, um, that cares about their work, you will go a long way. Um, I know some of my peers that I still talk to are doing great. They're in law school or they are like really big in the local government. It's because they they really was big on the issues they cared about. They really was really passionate. I, I say if you get into your political science major, you have to be passionate about it because the work is never done. It's long nights. Um, you know, you get irritated. It's not like you don't get paid a lot when you first starting. So it's like, 
you got to be either passionate about about like an issue or like whatever you're doing at work or like or you just can't you just can't do it for the money and i think that's what i appreciate about our program and our professors because they was they allowed us to show like the dedication the you know like the what they're dedicated to and also you know just the pat they how passionate it was i just remember dr wood always talked about us knowing about um different countries um in the international world because you know as americans we tend to just keep in our little bubble of just knowing about america and don't know what's going on outside of outside of <laughs> america and for instance my congresswoman is a, a co-chair of the haiti caucus i learned so much about haiti um that i should have paid attention to international affairs or just going what's going on it's so, like when you have worked for a member of congress and they are focused on these different issues and they go on these different codell trips you'd be like wow like i should have paid more attention to class um but i say that because our professors that taught us about the things that we should know in life or we are we in life or going to a nonprofit, or going working in local government they really know their thing they they stuff and they really know they're, they're very passionate about it so if I learn anything, I learn how to be passionate about everything I do um, and know that, you know, that the issue or whatever you're passionate about is bigger than yourself. So it will carry with you as long as you keep putting the work in, as long as you keep striving for it. And that is so what I'm thinking about for being a part of a small political science department at USC Aiken. And I still love all the professors there. Um, even if some of them has went away, I still talk about my professors because they taught me so much. Um, coming from a small school, and you would never think like coming from a small school, you know, you have everybody you're competing with on Capitol Hill, like at Harvard or Cornell or, um, or Georgetown right here in DC, you just be like, you know, like, am I good enough? Am I smart enough? But we had professors that prepared us for you know your work ahead or whatever your future may hold yeah i think one our from dr thornburg class um when we had to do the study and we went out and kind of did the study with the survey after i forgot what it was called it was after the like election day and we asked people to do like the survey that is really important you know um i think i was working, I started like working on Capitol Hill and like in the middle of President Trump's administration. And I see how much people didn't vote. And doing that survey back then, it's like, wow, like this is crazy, you know? So me, like all our college years was President Trump's administration. And then coming into President Biden administration, we see how important it was to like, like coming from Trump's and like a crazy administration and coming to President Biden's administration and then having like the first vice president Harris elected, a first black woman vice president elected. But the point is, I think that assignment was really important. And, you know, um, and I'm glad I took it serious then, but now I realize how important it was now is because of, you know, just looking at the polling cycle and looking at the numbers and looking at the statistics about, you know, like it really was important how, how many more people came out to vote. And also Dr. Young, Dr. Young class was very, very, you know, very great when it comes to public administration and now in president Biden's administration and you see so many people getting into their like the agencies and you know like thinking about like you know what can the agency do better and their you know performance reviews and different things like that you learn and i'm like wow like we talked about this in college but like now it's like deep dive and like when you live in the real world you see it like there are really problems in these different organizations and like in the administration that really happened. And you read about like scenarios in her class or you read about like um, seeing the different PowerPoints or what's so important when it comes to budget or what it comes to um, having a performance management. And you see how you can relate those back to the real world is really important. So thankful for all of them for teaching me <laughs> a little bit this, that I still remember. So, but I think that the students there was really passionate. They was really, we had a small class, so everybody knew each other, we took the same class and everything. But most of the students there was very like, you know, we had a, we had a mix. We had a lot of Democrats, we had a lot of Republicans. Um, so it was great to hear um, the different perspectives. And now even wish I could go back and say like, you know, I just want to have one more debate or just like have a talk about an issue now that I should have like thought about more in college. Um, I would say that um, most of the people that was a political science major 
there they are doing great things for my class anyways and um seeing people going to law school seeing people like you know just try to do the the work they said it was would do or whatever they want to get involved with um it's important i think um so i would give a little backstory first and say i wasn't always a political science major at usc aiken i uh, was a usc aiken um school of education i was major to be a teacher a history teacher um what changed my thought process of majoring and being a teacher was that I just didn't want to teach but I always had a passion about history and politics and I remember um taking a class with Dr. Millie and he kind of changed my mind and my perspective about things he talked about how he was like writing. He was he worked at the Pentagon. And I just still remember that. I'm like, well, you work you worked at the Pentagon. And that's why I say, like, you never know your what your professors have did before. If you get to know them, you will learn more about it. So when I told him that I was going to enter at the Library of Congress, he was like, Yeah, I used to work at the Clinton in DC. Um, and Dr. Young actually said in Washington, DC too. So I think if you gotta be passionate about if you want to major in political science at USC Aiken, period. Like that's number one. But I don't want nobody to be afraid to say just because, you know, it's a smaller, it's a smaller campus um, and that like you might like you can't get a job or internship or whatever it may be. But look, I'm living proof that <laughs> it can happen. It can happen. Definitely. You have great professors there that are very passionate, for sure. You have people that back there like to back you up all the way. Um, and I think m mainly um Coming from USC Aiken, I think I learned a lot about how to navigate in the real world. So I would say if you are thinking about majoring or changing your major to political science, go ahead and do it. Um, it was one of the best decisions I made. I would never think after I changed my major, I would be in DC working on Capitol Hill. Um, so even though everybody's journey is different, but um, I think if you really want to, you're passionate about an issue or you're passionate about someone in political science, because political science is very broad. There are so many different aspects and so many different um, things you could go into, um, which is very, was something that I was happy about. Like I didn't just do federal government. I could have did local. I could go into nonprofit. And, you know, of course you had to need your, you need some type of credentials, but the political science set it up for you to have.